and refresh the lip. YouTube, welcome back to another episode of K's World brought to you by Michaela Simone, the one, the only. <laughs> so, in today's video, I thought it would be interesting to do the new YouTuber tag. I know a lot of people are gonna ask, Michaela, what's the new YouTuber tag? It's self explanatory. It's just me talking about my channel, what I'm going to bring to the table, um, my goals, and everything else. All that good stuff. It is comprised of 19 questions. Got my handy dandy journal on deck with the questions in here. So without further ado, let's get into the video okay so the first thing it does is it just asks me to introduce myself hi you guys my name is michaela simone uh y'all need to know my last name before you be stalking me and stuff but yes my name is michaela simone i'm a 20 year old from new orleans louisiana i am currently a senior at xavier university of louisiana so yeah that's a little bit about me. The second question asks you where you're from. I already said it. I'm from New Orleans. Um, the third question is just three things about me, three facts. I like to dance. I like to read. And I'm a foodie. I love to eat. I love to cook new things, try new things, whatever. Woo -dee -woo -dee -woo. Okay. So the fourth one, it says, what is the name of your channel and how did you come up with it? Okay, so technically the name of my channel says Michaela Simone because that's what you look up to find my channel. But I, excuse me, I call it K's World because K has been the nickname I've had since high school my friends gave it to me and you know it just stuck Michaela K it just kind of stuck so my YouTube channel is just a glimpse into my world inside of K's world so you know what you see is what you get um you know what I like to do what type of person I am that's what you're going to see on the channel so yeah the fifth question is why did I start a YouTube channel well, I started this YouTube channel because I feel like I have the personality for it. Um, you know, I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel. Um, I've been watching YouTube ever since I was younger. Like, it started off just music videos and stuff to watch on YouTube. And then I got into watching actual, like, YouTubers when it became really popular. And I'm like, that looked like something I want to do, like. It just looks very interesting. It looks fun. It did look like like a lot of hard work, which is why it took me so long to jumpstart my channel. But I'm here now, so it's always better late than never. So, yeah. The sixth question says, what can your viewers expect from your channel? You're going to expect, you're going to get a lot of different things from my channel. It's not going to be specific things. I like lifestyle things um vlogs cooking segments clothing hauls different things like that like i said this channel is really just a glimpse into my life what i like to do i don't have my hand necessarily in one pot so it's just gonna be a mixture of many things and i can't wait for you guys to see more of me my personality and my world who inspired you to make a YouTube channel? That is the seventh question. Who inspired you to make a YouTube channel? Nobody in particular really inspired me to make a YouTube channel. I mostly pushed and motivated and inspired myself. Um, 
with the help of family and friends that really like kind of just made me know for sure that this was something that I wanted to do um along with my other endeavors the eighth question is um what was the hardest thing about getting started with my youtube channel the hardest thing was me self-sabotaging i swear to god i'm one of those people who i'm one of those people who overthink constantly and think the worst before i even try and then i talk myself out of it but those thoughts only last a little bit until I get, like, advice or even just me talking to myself, talking myself out of it, like, out of that state of mind. Because you can never, you can never prosper with negative thoughts like that. So that's why I always try and keep myself out of that state of mind. It's just not good for any anybody, anything, any type of thing you're doing that you want to be successful in self-sabotage goodness that is the worst thing you could ever do also i was um kind of discouraged because i didn't have the equipment i wanted like certain camera certain lighting certain tripod or whatever but lo and behold i'm here so <laughs> um oh so the next question is just a question about the type of equipment I use. I use my iPhone 11 Pro Max to film. I have a mini uh, tripod by Joby. It's one of those uh, adjustable tripods that you could basically use for anything, but it's one of those handheld ones, small ones that fit in your hand and um, a LED light. So that's my equipment for now. I mean, nothing special, nothing too expensive, but yeah, stuff that works for me and stuff I'm comfortable with. So the next question, number 10, it asks about equipment for the future, what I would like to use. I eventually want to save up for a vlogging camera, specifically the uh, Canon G7X. I want to get a bigger tripod, um, a ring light, but that, that stuff is to come in the future. I'm not rushing myself now and stressing myself out about the equipment that I don't have or what I want to have because I know in due time it will come. I just have to be patient and keep pushing out content and material, you know? That's what this is all about. It's not always about the equipment the expensive stuff that you have or whatever when you're a small youtuber you cannot compare yourself to big youtubers because it takes time and dedication to get to where those big tuber big youtubers <laughs> it takes time and dedication to get to where those big youtubers are now they started off as small youtubers also so i don't compare myself to them comparison is the thief of joy so i'm not letting anything steal my joy this is something i like to do and i'm gonna just keep doing it with the equipment i have now until i get what i want eventually and it's gonna happen question 11 it asks of uh, what's your favorite thing about the youtube community I haven't been a part of the YouTube community long enough to really have a favorite thing. I just know um, a lot of the black YouTubers, they support each other so much. And that's something I love. Like, y'all. So, that I think that's that got to be one of my favorite things. Question 12 asks, have I ever met anyone from YouTube in real life? No, I haven't. Do I hope to? Yes. Possibly collab? Yes. <laughs> All right. Ooh, okay. Question number 13. My three favorite YouTubers. Y'all, 
I don't have like a specific three favorite YouTubers, but the people I've been watching as of lately, I always watch DK for L main channel and vlogs. Period. Another person I watch, I love to play The Sims 4. So I think it's LOL Kalia. That's my girl. I love her. She makes me laugh so much. Um, and a third person that I really like to watch is Brittany Nicole. She's so pretty and I love what she do. So yeah, she's another one of my favorites. Question number 14. It asks, what is my favorite? What is my favorite genre on YouTube? Now, this was another thing that was kind of hard for me because I watch like everything on YouTube. Literally everything. Like entertainment, vlogs, different things like that. But my favorite thing to watch on YouTube is travel vlogs. So I guess that will fall under the genre of people in blogs and stuff like that. So yeah, that's my favorite genre on YouTube. Question 15 asks me to describe my dream YouTube collab. Right now, I don't think I have a dream YouTube collab simply because I'm working on building my channel separately from anybody else. I want my subscribers to know me. I want our relationship to be organic between us, you know, I want to like piggyback off of other people who have Google subscribers and stuff, you know. I just want people to enjoy me and my content for what it is. If that's how you could put it. So, question 16 asks, what is my favorite part of the video making process? My favorite part of the video making process is literally making the videos. Like doing my intro brings me so much happiness because I came up with it myself. And you know when you do things yourself, you feel a certain level of happiness pride joy it just keeps going up and up and up yeah so when i do my intro for my video i feel amazing because it, i know it's something that's near and dear to me and yeah question 17 eggs um what do you hope to learn through your journey of becoming a youtuber i'm already a confident person but i want to be more confident like as far as public speaking, I feel like I can do better and things like that. So public speaking, I want to elevate that, especially with my aspirations of being an attorney. There's always a way to level up, to upgrade, you know, along with public speaking, like interpersonal skills, just learning how to deal with people. Along with those other two, YouTube is a creative outlet it's a creative hub it's literally meant for people like me like any type of creative singers dancers poets all that things you know how to do you can show that on youtube people will literally flock to you for knowing how to do things for showing them like you're able to show them how to do things so Question 18 is asking, what are your goals for your channel? Personally, I'm going to say this here. Personally, I am not one to share my goals and my dreams with everybody for what I want to do. Because not everybody will understand the things you want to do. Some people will get jealous. Some people will literally just prey on your downfall because they're jealous. They don't want you to achieve your goals. Like... The jealousy will literally pop out. And that's why you don't tell everybody your goals and your dreams and what you want to do in life. Even if you're super close to the person, they could not be doing well in certain aspects of their life. And that could like literally stir up jealousy that could open a can of worms. And so yeah, just know I do have goals for my channel. I do have a plan for my channel, but I will I just not the type of person to share that with everybody. And I hope you guys can respect that. And we are on the last question already. Question 19. Question 19 
ask me to give you guys three reasons to subscribe to my channel. Reason number one, my personality. I don't think you will find anybody more genuine and real as me. And I know that might be corny or cliche to say, but like, I'm just a real genuine person. I'm not going to fake anything. The content I bring on my channel will be genuine. Stuff that I do, just day-to-day -day life. Yeah. Reason number two. I'm a funny person. Well, I think I'm a funny person. I will have you dying laughing on this channel with my little corny jokes. And even if they're not corny, they're still funny. <laughs> no, but for real, I'm a funny person. Along with being genuine. I think that's a good combo. Genuine and funny. Reason number three why you guys should subscribe to my channel I'm just an optimistic person. I think optimism gets people far in life if you use it in the right way. You know, having a vision, being optimistic, I think that's keys into being successful into whatever you want to do. And so if my optimism ends up rubbing off on you guys if my like my motivation for what I want to do rubs off on you guys then I've done what I'm supposed to do I feel like I feel like that's one of my main goals in life is to motivate other people to get them to see the brighter side of every situation so yeah that's the three reasons why you guys should subscribe to my channel that was the new YouTuber tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got some gems from this video. You can, you know, snatch them, use them to your advantage. It might help you become motivated to do what you want to do, even if it's not YouTube. It could be anything else you want to do in life. As long as it motivates you to want to be successful and to do your best in what you want to do then my job is done, honey. This was another episode of K's World brought to you by Michaela Simone. See you guys in the next video. Bye.